Hello there friends, welcome back to another Subliminator print on demand tutorial. Today we're going to design an awesome button down t-shirt using purely mid journey to create a seamless pattern for us that we're then going to take into the Subliminator app. We're going to let Subliminator create the all over print tiled pattern for us and then we're going to add some text, show you a little trick. So make sure you watch to the end of this one and then we're gonna publish another awesome product. So let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is come over to Mid Journey. Now I've shown some uh, tutorials on how to set this up before, it's very easy. Uh, I pay $10 a month for this. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna start with my prompt. So if you remember, um, it's imagine, okay. And then we type in the prompt. So I'm going to do um, Hawaiian. Is that probably not how you say Hawaii? We'll see if um, Hawaiian style pattern, um, floral pattern, darker tones, pink, purple. And I'm gonna do this little trick here. Now this is what we need to get this pattern. And we go tile. So there we go. I actually really like these. These are actually pretty Awesome. So I'm going to pick, um, I think this one here. So this would be number three. So I'm going to upscale number three. And we've got that. So I'm going to save that. So now I've saved that and we're going to jump over into Subliminator and create an awesome pattern shirt with this. And I'm going to show you another little trick too. So here we are in my Subliminator dashboard. Now I'm just going to go men's. I want to go for a, uh, where are we, a polo shirt. Okay, this is gonna be an awesome, uh, Hawaii. actually, no, I'm going to go a button down shirt. Let's go really Hawaiian style with this. All right, so we're going to create. Just gonna keep it in the Subliminator account for now. Now, um, I'll show you a few tricks with this particular type of garment where it has buttons at the front too. Let's drop the pattern in. Okay, so you see it's arrived here. I've dropped it in. Now, you will might notice from other videos, we've had to use an upscaler, a paid tool. Now, for this sometimes, when we get patterns like this, we can take it as, as big as possible uh, while we maintain still normal quality DPI over here. And if you're happy with that, then you don't need to use an upscaler, okay? So that's one of the benefits. But the way we do this now is we wanna come over here to this little tool, which is called the Pattern Maker. We wanna go what's called a half drop pattern and done. Look at that amazing looking all over print pattern. Um, I think, you know, your husbands and wives would be absolutely blown away by this. If you walked in, you'd be the life of the party. So now let's look at putting this across the entire garment. All right, so I'm going to select it. We want to now go to this duplicate layer. We're gonna copy the layer just to everywhere uh, except for the label. Okay, copy layer. And you'll see here, now it's got the backside, the yoke, sleeves, collar, label. Now, it, with the label I've shown you before too, this is a great spot for you to put uh, your logo or something like that. So not all of the garments have this option, but this is great if you want to add to your little branding. Now let's check out the preview for this. All right, that looks pretty cool. Look at that. I think that looks actually quite amazing. Now, you can see here the buttons, the white buttons look quite good, but let's go over here to the toggle. Let's see how the black ones look. Um, this has got a bit of a darker design, so either one would work, I think. I probably prefer white with these because it sort of matches the lighter petals, but that's really up to you. That's what it looks like over uh, on the back. So now you can see here, this is the yoke. So see how this section here doesn't line up with the seamless pattern, neither do the sleeves. That's perfectly normal. Obviously it's impossible to make patterns go completely over seams. But if you wanna get really fancy with this type of product, you can do different sleeves, different color sleeves, different yoke, um, different collar, okay? So we're gonna go back to edit. I'm gonna to go to front side. Now there's a little trick I want to show you with this design, with this particular product, okay? You can see the front template here has two sections because it's, it's buttoned up. So different to say a t-shirt would be one section. 
let's add something like um, text. All right, amazing shirt. Let's say that, amazing shirt. Now I'm not gonna go through a full tutorial on here, you know, on creating amazing looking text, but let's do something like that. Yep, that'll do. We wanna go lobster. I know I'm going to add also a stroke to that. Stroke color is going to be white. Okay, just so it pops a little bit, let's make that stroke a bit bigger. Great, look at that. This size needs to be a bit bigger. And I want to also warp this just a little bit. Looks great. Now, let me show you a little trick here. You might be wondering already, well, what's gonna happen here? Is it getting cut off? Let's check out the preview. All right, so you might be looking at this going, wow, You've just ruined a perfectly good looking, amazing Hawaiian t-shirt or Hawaiian button down shirt by stuffing up the text on the front. Now, bear with me. That's where this little tool comes into play. So if you are wanting something to seamlessly go across where your customer will button this shirt up, you go over to this little toggle up here and we're gonna match. Hey presto, look at that. Okay, you can see there now essentially this is showing it buttoned up. All right, let's go back to the preview. And there you go. So you can see here when it's buttoned up, this text will actually look like this and it will match up nicely. So this is a great little feature for garments like this or the baseball jersey, which is probably more so where this tool is important because baseball jerseys quite often people like to book text over the front. So again, that's just another little innovation that's built right into the Subliminator app. So essentially, we've come to the end of this little tutorial. Uh, we're happy with everything. If you wanna go really crazy, you can start doing different yokes and all sorts of different things. But this is a quick tutorial showing you how you can actually use Midjourney to create a seamless pattern, how you can then bring it in here. You can tile that with uh, Subliminator's Pattern Maker tool, which is just here. You can do different sorts of patterns, but this particular pattern we've made, half drop is the one you want. Okay, and we've added text that goes seamlessly across the front when the garment is buttoned up. Now, if you want to finish this product and launch it, you just go to your next step. This is where you choose your amazing mock-ups that you want to do. You choose as many as you want or as little as you want. You can download them in PNG, so they've got a transparent background, so then you can place them on other backgrounds to use for your ads. You can do whatever you wish, generate the mock-ups, and here we go. Now look at this guy and tell me if you can pick something that I've done wrong here. Obviously going through this quick tutorial, I've just whacked this text on and haven't really taken into account the actual proportions of what this text might look like on somebody. So right now I would go back. Now this is the benefit of seeing these 3D mockups. While they're not perfect, they are a good indication of what you're going to get. I would go back here to the design and say, okay, if we think about this, over here, this is the guy's armpit, all right, and this is the middle. So this goes pretty far, pretty close to the armpits. So it's very easy to, to make this mistake when you're looking at a flat design template. So let's make this a little bit smaller, and that might look too small to you. However, you've already seen that this here is right over underneath the armpit over here in these corners. So when you think about it like that, you get to understand the perspective and the scale of which things should be. So let's go to next. Let's generate some mock-ups again. Okay, so there we go. Now that looks much better, doesn't it? And whew, I've got to say, this guy, if he isn't already taken one night out on the town in this Hawaiian shirt, and he is going to be snapped up by some lucky lady. So all you need to do now is go through your next steps do your product description, type a custom description here, then you go to your pricing shipping and you publish it. Hey there friends, thanks again for watching another tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions or recommendations of the next tutorials you'd like me to film, just pop your comments below. I try to respond to all of them and we'll happily create anything that you need to make your print on demand journey easier and more successful. So thanks again, make sure you subscribe and see you on the next one.